Some Christchurch residents are fed up living in a stinky neighbourhood. The odour from the local tip, the waste treatment centre and even the compost operation is proving just too much to handle. And now residents in Bromley are taking to pen and paper to voice their anger. 25 residents from Bromley, Linwood and Wollston have banded together to protest against the reeking odours they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The Hagley Ferry Mead Community Board held a meeting last night and sought out information about what types of odours can be smelt and the impact on families in the area. There are areas within Bromley and Wollston that are industrial areas, but the odours do travel into the residential areas and um, Consents don't allow for that. The, any, any offence of odours are supposed to stay on site. Acting as advocates for the community, the board held the meeting to gain as much information as they could before they can figure out their next step. We've been aware that there have been uh, some complaints over the last few years uh, to ECAN about smells in the area. So we wanted to gauge the extent of the problem um, in the wider community and um, got some really good information from people last night. Residents have been encouraged to keep an odour diary to try and pinpoint the cause of the bad smell. The most common one was the, um, the, comp the strong composting smell from the living earth plant, but people were also um, uh, had, had concerns about um, sometimes in Wollstone from Jalita, um, sometimes the estuary smell that so you get with the sea lettuce and, and those kind of things, and also sometimes people were smelling um, various food smells, but also um, some, some from the sewage treatment plant. She says that the impacts on families are more than just dealing with a bit of a pongy smell. So there were things like people having to stay inside with the windows and doors shut, and people who had hung their washing out to dry and then had to re-wash it because the washing itself smelled, those kind of things. And so I think it's quite useful for um, those organisations to be able to hear from the wider community about that. We visited the Living Earth plant in May this year and spoke to Christchurch branch manager Daniel O'Connell about exactly how much compost they see through the plant. Uh, almost 46,000 tonne of curbside collection uh, each, uh, each year and we turn that into about 25,000 tonnes of compost. Living Earth had a representative attend last night's community board hearing and said that they are aware of the situation. They are not able to make a comment at this time. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.